This is Brandon Gamlin here to discuss with y'all the alkyne oxymercuration mechanism. We'll start off with the terminal alkyne and adding water mercury sulfate to synthesize a ketone. So in step one, we'll have our terminal alkyne and the mercury 2 plus ion. The lone pairs from the mercury are going to attack this po partial positive carbon here, and the pi bonds are going to attack the, the mercury forming a cyclic mercurium ion. There, this oxygen will be attracted to one of the partial positive carbons, both of which are partial positive, but one can actually sustain that partial positive better than the other, taking from the knowledge of carbocations. Primary carbocations cannot hold a charge as well as secondary carbocations, so this will have the actually greater partial positive, which therefore this oxygen will attack right there, and uh, forming this bond to break, making the, the, making the mercury go up going into step three. Here, the mercury is now only a plus one charge with the lone pair, and we're going to have this water ion uh, on the carbon that was the more partial positive. So from here on out, we're trying to transfer these hydrogens over to this carbon and getting rid of the mercury to form our ketone. So in order to do that, we're going to have our water molecule come in. It's going to take this hydrogen, bouncing a lone pair back up to that oxygen, forming a mercuric enol, and this enol then will uh, have water attack and pull off this hydrogen, making this double bond to form, and when this double bond forms, this double bond will kick off and will attack the hydronium ion that was previously made from the last step whenever the water had taken the hydrogen off to form this alcohol group. Coming back to here now, we're going to have a double bond here, two hydrogens and mercury. So now this is the step where we're going to try to get rid of the mercury. And so this oxygen here has a partial negative charge, and this mercury has an uh, obvious part, uh, positive charge. So what's going to happen here is this lone pair is going to help facilitate the removal of this hydrogen, ion, of this uh, mercury ion here and it's going to form this double bond and then this double bond will have to break and it will attack one of the hydrogens off of the hydronium ion that was also previously formed by the removal of the H off of the alcohol to form this double bond here. So then that will happen forming water here. So now we're back to having an alcohol group and then two, and two H's on the C and then a double bond. So what's going to happen here now is this enol in intermediate is going to go through tautomerization to form a ketone. So this double bond is going to attack this hydrogen breaking off here. This double bond is going to first this uh, electron is going to attack this hydrogen forming the double bond here in order for that double bond to attack this hydrogen and for, and for it to make a water molecule here, therefore forming a double bond here and then bouncing this and, and uh, catching this hydrogen onto this uh, less substituted carbon, which will therefore form the ketone, which is the main idea of the synthesis.